here we are at the point of the show where the apps that defy description are, in fact, described. This time we have something very special for you. It's free and it's for the iOS and it's something so incredible, I'm not sure how to begin. Let's start with the name, Sim Stapler. That's right, now instead of wasting actual staples and possibly injuring yourself while actually using the stapler, you can run simulated scenarios with Sim Stapler. Similar to the technology used by NASA, where astronauts are run through simulated space flights to ensure they come home safe. You can now apply the same logic to your life. Perhaps your annual report, your quarterly budget, your book report on Lord of the Flies. The list is endless. How long have we waited for something like this to arrive and change the very landscape of office work efficiency? It doesn't matter because the wait is finally over. When we return, we'll explore a handful of apps that'll turn your device into a musical instrument of sorts. And we'll show you how using your ringtone could lead to a recording career. That's all coming up after the break when App TV continues. Welcome back. The iPod has revolutionized the way we store, buy, and listen to music. And these are the apps that are revolutionizing the iPod. iPod supplements are the hot ticket in this hot five. Our first of five this time is Smart Playlists. Sort your listening in new and interesting ways like most listened to, song ratings, last time played, you get the idea. Smart Playlist lets you mix and create new music combinations right on your iPhone. No longer are you chained to your computer to create and arrange your music lists. Now, do it on the go. Next up is a free one, TuneWiki. TuneWiki provides the lyrics time to the music so you can sing along to your favorite song. It can even connect you right to the video on YouTube, show you music charts, and help find top songs from around the world. It also connects you to Facebook so you can let everyone know what song you're singing and if you got the words right this time. Moving along, we come to Instant Q. Instant Q lets you strategically select certain songs to avoid listening to certain other songs. Best used when any song by ABBA is up next, which can be quite often. Next up is Music Library Quiz. Think you know everything about the Black Eyed Peas? Have you got the cure for Bieber fever? No, really. Do you have the cure for that? Anyway, these questions are just a sample of what Music Library Quiz has in store for you. The app will actually look into your iTunes, play a tune, and ask you questions about it. Pretty cool. And last up for today is My Artists, which takes your entire music library and organizes your user interface in a stunningly visual way. Gone are the days of just a list of tunes. This app will create a whole page that can integrate photos, text, bios, or lists of other music by the same artist. It also integrates last.fm and can go as far as to recommend new music based on the last.fm listings. You know, there's an old saying that music is the art of thinking with sounds. And in fact, music can be considered as a universal language. Well, whether you have a knack for songwriting or just an interest in learning a new instrument, these are the apps that are gonna help make you a one-man band. Kicking it off, we have Play It Yourself. You see, the piano is a great instrument to start on, and Play It Yourself can make practicing both fun and easy. It works by putting the sheet music at the top of the screen and highlighting the notes as they should be played. When the notes light up, the corresponding keys on the keyboard do as well. You can also set your learning speed, which is great because you always want to start slow and to pick up the pace once you get better. If you want to concentrate on just playing one hand, the app will play the other. So you can practice until you're perfect with both. Next up is Guitar Toolkit 999 for the iPhone and iPad. As any guitar player knows, you normally have to lug around your guitar case full of gear like this. Now, all you need is this. Guitar Toolkit is everything you need to set up and stay in tune. The app uses the mic in your iPhone and picks up what you're playing to see if you're in tune or way off key. This toolkit contains over 500,000 chords for easy reference and it has pretty much every scale that's known to exist. Guitar Toolkit is a great way to learn, keep sharp, stay in tune, and just be creative. And it's not just for guitarists either. You can use it to play the bass, mandolin, banjo, and my personal favorite, the ukulele. That last note keeps going out of tune.
Do you remember what I said about carrying a metronome and tuner to play your acoustic guitar? Well, imagine you had to carry all this. Now, all of this is right here. It's called Amplitube, and it costs $19.99 for the full version. But before you get started, you're gonna need this iRig adapter to use it. But once you got this, you're good to go. With the adapter, you can plug in your guitar and headphones right into your iPad. When you open the app, it gives you a cool retro looking amp. Adjust your levels, add effects, or just play mess around with the sound. If you come up with something you like, record it right to your iPad. Amplitude is intuitive, produces solid sounds, and offers a lot to beginners and experts alike. Now, like any good rock musician, I should end off by smashing this guitar. Well, okay, maybe later. Music and movie buffs will love the diverse capabilities of Windows Phone 7. The Zune application is a perfect solution for the media-minded. Launching Zune begins on your home screen. What you want to do is find and tap the music and videos tile. This will reveal the Zune menu. To listen to an audio file, tap the music tab. Now browse through the music library's menus and locate your desired track. If at any point you can't find the item you're looking for, press the colored letter tile. This will bring up an alphabetical display. Tap the letter that your song, album, or artist begins with. If any media is available that relates to your search terms, it will appear now. Selecting a song will cause it to automatically begin playing in your Zune player. To adjust your sound levels, use the volume keys located on the side of your phone. If you'd like to watch a video, what you need to do is open Zune's main menu. Tap the tab labeled videos. This will retrieve a scrollable list of thumbnail images. Locate the video you'd like to watch, then tap its thumbnail and it'll begin playing. You can access that playback control panel at any time by tapping your screen. If you wish to exit your video, press the back arrow button. This will return you right back to the media library. You can also expand your media collection by buying or renting movies, TV shows, and videos through the Zoom desktop client. Congratulations, you've now unlocked the multimedia functions of Windows Phone 7. Well, to wrap things up, we've got two last apps to toss into the mix. First up, Ringtone Remix. This app lets you import 40 seconds of a song from your iTunes collection to use as your ringtone. You can choose different ones as custom ringtones, alarms, or even reminders. And if you don't want the hassle of finding the 40 seconds of a song to loop, the app will select a loopable section for you. Very cool. And lastly, we have Bebop for the iPhone or iPad. I want to talk about how cute this is. Just look at that little tuxedo. This little robot guy can make a variety of different musical sounds or just plain noise, depending on how you set him up. Just slide your finger around and you have some cool sounds that everyone from children to professional musicians can't resist. But he's not as adorable as me, right? Uh, sure, Mike. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time on App TV. Thanks for watching. No, but I am adorable. No. App TV is brought to you by TELUS.